Hello and welcome to the channel. Thank you for dropping in. I've just got back from RSA 2023 in San Francisco and whilst I was there, I was able to talk to lots of people. Lots of people came up to me, uh, asked me all sorts of questions about pen testing and about bug bounty hunting, what are my tips and tricks, that sort of thing. But the one question that stood out above everything was what's the one thing I can do to improve my pen testing? What can I do that will help me be better than everyone else? And well, I had a 13 hour drive home. So on that drive, I thought about what is it that I do every single time that I see constantly that other people don't do. And so I wanted to share this one tip that I have for making your pen testing or bug baiting hunting a little bit better than everyone else's. And it's really simple. So let's go over to the laptop now and have a look. Often on a pen test or in the bug bounty, you get the URLs that you want to test and you think, okay, I'll just go and quickly test it, make sure that we're seeing everything is working correctly. So here I've just picked a random website just for this. So if you go here, load it up. Yeah, okay, right, that website's working. Maybe we'll come back to this a bit later, maybe we'll go and drink or something, or maybe it's even a couple of days later if it's the pen test. But the website works, that's great. So if you open up, developer tools, which I'm just using the mouse here rather than this uh, shortcut, just so you can see where it is. Um, when you click on network tab, you can see everything that is loaded when you are requesting a website, right? So let's do a quick refresh here. Um, and you'll see it loads in loads of different files, some of which may be actually useful if you're looking for say credentials or, or source code that you know, might be able to be manipulated. So. As we go down here, we can see we've got 70 requests um, uh, for loads of different files, right? Including some of these uh, JavaScript files. Great. But something may be a cache, right? So if we disable this cache and do a, another refresh, you can see it loads in basically the same stuff again. But we've got a few more files, hopefully this time. So rather than 70 odd, we've got, where's that going to end? 110 requests. Maybe we've got everything now, right? So we've disabled the cache and we've refreshed. We've done a hard refresh, so it grabs out everything again. But we're still not actually getting all of the files. And this is the tip that I want to give you, right? So if you look in storage, under cache storage or local storage, depending on where you want to go, um, you'll find there are some resources that are being stored, right? So let's just delete everything here. And then we'll go back to network and we'll refresh again. We'll do another hard refresh and we'll see how many files we get this time. So remember we had 110. Oh, now look, we've got 126, 180 requests. There's a bunch more files that were there that we just didn't see because we went to it that one time and we checked that the URL was working. So if you were starting your pen test or your bug bounty, but for real, you would miss some of those files. And actually, this is a great example because there are a lot of files here, under here, that um, basically in storage, you'll see that there's all of these DLLs that are, are being loaded in for this website. That's my one tip, is go away and delete the storage cache on your browser before you do any testing because you are going to miss files if you do not do that. And you may not even know that they exist and you'll just completely miss them and there could be some really interesting things. Here's an extra little tip for you um, that a friend of mine shared with me the other day, which is great if you use Chrome for your pen testing. Um, under here, if you have developer tools open, um, if you right click on the refresh, you get a new set of types of reload, including this empty cache and hard reload, which sometimes works. <laughs> it, it doesn't always clear that local cache that I was saying, go and just, uh, you know, destroy all the data for. As you can see, it's still here. Um, it hasn't touched it, but it is a good, easy way of clearing your cache and restarting. But again, the first tip is the main one. Go away and delete your local storage, or at least look through it um, once you've loaded a site. Thank you again. If you did come and see me at RSA, um, I really enjoyed talking to a lot of people that day.